For 94-year-old Murray Appleby, it was a no-brainer. Can you tell me why you're coming here to have the COVID injection today? Why have it? Well, why not? Right? Well, you were silly not to, right? He's among the first Tasmanians to receive the long-awaited jab at this aged care home in Olveston. Almost 100 residents here have been vaccinated as part of the federal government's rollout. Shirley Corbett is believed to be the first in the state to get the shot. Don't be frightened of it. Yeah, yeah use it because that's what it's there for. That's why people have been going to so much trouble to make it. We're overwhelmed and, and quite happy that uh, we were one of the first sites. Uh, we've been looking for this moment for the last 12 months since the uh, pandemic hit. While the federal government is in charge of vaccinations at aged care and disability residential care facilities, the states are overseeing everyone else's voluntary vaccines. Inoculation of Tasmania's quarantine, border and frontline high-risk healthcare workers will begin at the Royal Hobart Hospital on Tuesday. That process will move to the Launceston General and North West Regional Hospitals. The aim is for 14,000 priority Tasmanians to be fully vaccinated by mid-April. The next phase will include people over 70, all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, people with medical conditions and emergency service workers. Adults over 50 are in the next phase, then all remaining Tasmanians will be immunised by the end of October. So we're calling on all Tasmanians to uh, roll up their sleeves when it is their turn, of course, and not only are they protecting themselves, but of course their loved ones and the entire community. For those who aren't yet on board, the message is clear. Yes, there are still some people who are hesitant about the vaccine. To those people, I say, the Therapeutic Goods Administration has gone through its usual rigorous and thorough processes to ensure the safety and the efficacy of these vaccines which are being approved for use in Australia. If I can do it, anyone can do it. It didn't hurt very much. Reasons to celebrate.